Hello, gamers. Guess what we're gonna be doing today? We're gonna be working on a house that I've been putting off for far too long. As you guys know, Happy Home Paradise comes with this feature. After you unlock a certain progression in the DLC, you can edit the houses on your own island, like your villager houses. You don't have to have them be ugly and barren anymore, which is pretty cool. And I've been using the heck out of this feature. I've gotten so many of my villagers' houses upgraded, renovated, looking good. The next one that I gotta conquer today, Shino. This is what I did for Shino's front yard. It is very springy. It doesn't really match with the summer vibe of my island right now. So I think I'll be working on her house a little bit more in the future. But for now, this is what her yard looks like. I gave her basically a little pink cherry blossom tea party. But yeah, since cherry blossoms are gone, I'm going to make some changes to this. All in due time, darling. Let's focus on the inside of her house, which I think I will incorporate a lot of cherry blossom in. All right, Mr. Nookington. Let's talk homes. So for Shino's house, since she does have a Japanese theming to herself, to her house interior right now, and with the exterior of the home that I've kind of planned for her, I would love to stick with that in the interior. Okay, cool. I'm so excited. And it only costs $9,000. We're going to start with the interior. I don't know if I'm going to really change the exterior all that much. I guess it depends on what we do with the interior. In my mind, I'm going to go with lighter colors, not darker colors of the wood and it's very mixed matched and awkward in here right now as it is i think we could do a lot better okay time to nuke it goodbye now i'm like loving the wall and the flooring at the moment i might want to change the flooring eventually just because i'm thinking that it's gonna look weird with the way i'm putting partition walls so i'd love to give her a little bedroom that's kind of important to me with all of my animal crossing builds is to do a bed but we're kind of like restricted on size here so i'm gonna lay out some partition walls in a very particular way let's see if it works out it took me a couple tries to get here but this is what i've decided to do i am upset obsessed with the idea of using these counters, these little tiny baby awkward weird counters that I love to talk shit about. Love the idea of using these as more of like a ledge bench. I have a carved out area for the bedroom. This I'm thinking is gonna be an eating area and hopefully it all turns out okay and looks good. <laughs> not sure, I, I'm kind of feeling a little nervous about this layout. It, it might not be 100% it, but this is what I've come up with with my certain compromises that I need to make. I wanna have a bedroom for my villagers. That's most important and I also need for them to be able to walk around so I don't want to do too many partitions columns all kinds of crazy weirdo stuff for now let's grab some furniture that's gonna look good we also have this that maybe we could be using instead of these counters here. Does it fit perfectly in the space? Yeah, yeah. I think I'm having some other ideas for this. Hold your horses, everybody. Okay, don't know if it makes sense to have two of them right next to each other like this, but I sort of like how it looks. And then we have the counter on the other side here. So it's like two tokonoma and then one kind of faux konoma. <laughs> Ugh, I don't know. Now I'm starting to have second thoughts. I think it looked better if it was in the bedroom. Oh God. Okay, wait, I actually think this looks good. Oh my God. Jesus Christ, I'm gonna sit here and do this all damn day, aren't I? And then I could still potentially do a partition wall. Oh, where am I gonna put a fucking bedroom? All right, all right, let's try this. This is going to be Shino's bedroom area, and then we'll do like some sort of decor or something here, I don't know, and then maybe a seating area. Sure, cut me some slack. I'm having a really hard time deciding on the layout here. <laughs> do we like the pink checker? I sort of like the pink flowers. Mm. No, we gotta go pink checker. I have this designed specifically for Shino, and I'll be damned if I don't use it. Well, shoot, I might actually want to use it on these. What is wrong with me? I'm going so back and forth because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, the pink checker definitely slays more for cushions. Um, however, the design on the actual table itself is not doing any justice here. What happens if I search up cherry blossom on the design portal? Oh, I can't do that right now. Oh, big bummer. Wow, that's a bummer. Why wouldn't you be able to look stuff up? That makes me really sad. That's my lifesaver, looking stuff up on the design portal. If I can't do that, then I have nothing. It's fine. I guess we'll just go for like a little retro vibe. Okay, Shino is gonna have like the most beautiful, luxurious bedroom you've ever seen. That's just who she is. Part of me wants to use the futon, but I think we'll go with the tatami bed. And this little box shaped seat, I wonder if I could put some 
something cute on you. Mayhaps a little candle. Oh, that's adorable. I love that. Yes. Oh, I totally forgot about food on top of the table. Okay, what do you think Shino loves to eat? Ooh, I like that this shoyu ramen is pink. <laughs> We're going super pink. And then how about a milkshake and some tea? A milkshake sounds so good right now. That's why I say milkshake. Okay, I like how this is all laid out right now. Not gonna lie, I'm a big fan. Instead of doing in that little corner a little decor. We have decor everywhere. We have so much room for decor. How about a kitchen? I love the idea of having a pink kitchen. Shut your mouth. And then Sloppy Sink, she's a go-to forever. She's always going to be there and in my life. And I think we should do a pink compact kitchen. No way. That's so cute. And we cannot have this house not have a cherry blossom rug. Oh, that's darling. It looks so cute. The spacing of it is kind of weird, but please just ignore that because it's um, going to stay. Okay. I just need like more decor. Or, I don't know. Anything else cute that I could put? How about we'll do cute music player? She knows a peppy, right? <laughs> Maybe she would love a little like gossip magazine. Is there anything like that? Um, I guess kids. Maybe it's kid gossip that she's into. Yeah, wow, this is very pink. Do we care? No. Is this where I wanted to go? No, but here we are. <laughs> Fragrance diffuser, kind of cute, yas. Now love the tatami mat but I think there might be a better flooring that we could pick as well. Okay, so we have tatami flooring, which is also very cute. There is this rush tatami that's pinky. I like the contrast of the green. We also have this. I swear there was like a floral tatami mat, but maybe I don't have it cataloged, which is kind of sad because I think that one would probably be very cute too. I don't know if I'm missing it, let me know, but I, I think I just straight up don't have it. Whatever, you win some and lose some. I like this flooring better. I like that the the lines aren't so rigid because then it doesn't really make sense how it's laid out with all of the random shit in here. <laughs> Wall mounted. This is the best part. Cherry blossom clock. I have to. I have to. There's no way around it. And you know what? I am going to hang it right here. Who cares? There's not a ton of room to like hang stuff in general here. How about this? The dried flowers. Kind of cute. Gives it a little bit of like a cottagey touch. We'll do colorful, of course, because that's our girl. Oh, you know what is rockin'? Ceiling decor. Something has to be said about these hanging shelves and the fact that they are going right above the kitchen. What else would Shino be into? Probably a light above the table. Do we want it? Yeah, the center like that. Yup. More pink? Yes. Yes. Okay, I've decided against some things here. I'm gonna do the tea set in the corner. Maybe instead of the candle, the diffuser. I want to give her a cutesy little laptop. Oh, and the cinema roll tea set is way better than this tea set. For this purpose, yes. Yeah, I want to give her a cutesy little laptop so she can play girl games. Do you know what most definitely would be on girlsgogames.com? Let's freaking go. First of all, chat bubble above the computer excellent that's yup yup exactly i don't like to go too hard with the polishing because i think it can take away but i like to add subtle little polishings here and there the butterflies on the cherry blossom bonsai stop it but that's as much polishing as i want to do I did forget about two things, a gyroid, and I forgot about her favorite album. Her favorite song in New Horizons is King KK and also KK Folk in Happy Home Paradise. I would be surprised if I had either of those songs because I don't think I've seen them before in my catalog. I do have it and KK Folk. Wow, how do I have both? You know what? I'm putting it right on the screen. Who cares? And a gyroid above the bed. That's all I have room for. Petaloid is a cutie. She could be pink, and that's what I love about her. Um, she does look a little funky on the walls, actually. Hold up. I do have room for her on top of the cushions. Is pink on pink too much? We could do green. Yeah, we'll do green. I'm gonna put on, well, there's KK Folk, and then we have King KK. I like both of them, so maybe she'll alternate. I don't know, it's not my house. What do we think? of Shina's humble abode. Yeah, layout took me a second there, but I mean, I really like it how it is. I can't believe we fit 
a seating area, a bedroom, and a kitchen. I was really not anticipating being able to do all of that, but somehow we made it work, sweaty. This might be one of my new favorites, to be honest. I think she's gonna really like it, and I think she's gonna adjust really well to it. Now, the walk test. I wanna make sure you can walk to her bed. Yes, she can walk to her bed and into that weird little crack maybe. And she could walk around here. Perfect, that's exactly what I want. I hate when I walk into a villager's house and they have like nowhere to go but to stand in one spot. Traumatizing. Let them walk. <laughs> that was a real quick banger and I really liked it. It turned out really, really good. I'm really happy with how it all turned out. I feel like it's very her and it kept with the Japanese aesthetic as well as, you know, being cute and peppy and pink and gorgeous and lovely. As far as exterior, goes I decided not to change it it looks really good how it is and since we did a lighter theme on the inside we're gonna keep it the exact same on the outside Chino is not one of my favorites on the island but her having a pretty cool house kind of changes that a little I had a lot of fun with this one let me know if you did Chino's house differently what you would do differently if you had Chino don't forget to come and follow me on twitch I do a lot of Animal Crossing Sims Stardew on there and my other socials are down below as well I hope you're having a great day and you you continue to do so and I will see you in the next one.